DJI is releasing the DJI Mini SC soon as you can see on the Walmart site right here. But what is it and what will the price actually be? Hi, I'm Paul from dronesgrader.com and in this video I'm gonna present all the leaks so far about the DJI Mini SE. It's not a very exciting drone per se, because the specs are actually lower than the DJI Mini 2. However, the price difference might be quite large. So let's see what the actual leaks are. As always, the first leaks we see are from Osita LV on Twitter and we can see a few photos of the new drone, which pretty much looks just like the older drone DJI Mini 2 that I have right here. As you can see, everything looks the same, from the drone propellers and even the remote controller. But one thing is definitely different, and that is the package. As you can see on the package right here, it says 2.7K at 12 megapixels. It can fly for 2.5 miles, which is about 4 kilometers, and it can stay in the air for 30 minutes. These are, these are all the specs that we've seen from the original DJI Mavic Mini. So what's new then? As you can see, you can already find the drone on the Walmart website. It doesn't have any price attached to it, but it does have some specs and features shown in the image themselves. The drone pretty much looks just like the DJI Mavic Mini. It is under 240 grams and it can fly for 30 minutes, unlike the DJI Mini 2 that can fly for 31 minutes. It does have a 2.7K video and a 3-axis gimbal of course and a 2.5 mile signal range. In the package you can see that there is one battery and the standard remote controller that we've seen with all the DJI Mini drones and the Mavic Air series. It says right here that the sensor size is the same, it has 12 megapixels and a 2.7K resolution. You can shoot in 30 frames per second max in 2K resolution. Thing is they should have bumped this up a bit to 60 frames per second in 2.7K, it would have made a world of difference for me at least. And it of course has the quick shot modes like Drone, Circle, Helix. So what should we expect from this new drone? The remote controller is the same pretty much, we have the drone that looks and feels the same, so the main difference is gonna be in the price. So let's try to predict how cheap this drone can actually be. As you can see right here, DJI still has the Mavic Mini page. It costs $399 for the base version and $499 for the Mavic Mini Fly More Combo. The Fly More Combo seems out of stock right now. But the thing is, the difference between the original Mavic Mini and this one is only $50. So nobody in their right mind would actually buy the original Mavic Mini considering the price difference is so small. So the new Mavic Mini SE must be considerably cheaper for us to buy it. And the good price I'm expecting from it is $299. That means it is going to be the best drone under $300 we have on the market right now. This is pretty much what Apple did with their special edition phones where they have add lower specs into phones that are actually cheaper so that more people can afford it. I think the Mavic Mini SE will be one of the most frequently bought drones in the world and that is because they're already stepping into the price point of under $300. And so far DJI has only released the DJI Tello which was under $100. We were all expecting the DJI Tello 2 which would cost about $200. So what we get instead is a Mavic Mini SE which is between $200 and $300. Let's hope that it's closer to $200, because then this little guy will have a friend to play with. So who should use this drone? I think pretty much anyone who wants to get in the world of drones. The price point will be low enough, so anyone who wants the cheap travel drone that takes amazing footage will be able to get this drone and do whatever they want with it. And in terms of the release date, I'm expecting it to be somewhere around this summer. Probably like one month from now, because DJI doesn't really have to get new technology and considering it's already on Walmart, I'm expecting that most shops out there are already stocked. So they could probably launch it even in June or late July. Next, I suggest that you watch one of my following videos right here and subscribe because most of you aren't subscribed to the channel. Leave a comment down below telling me what do you think about this new drone and especially what the price for it might be. Thanks for watching and see you later alligator.